Hey, what up guys? Mike here, Owens Pressure Washing. I just want to show you how I uh, modified my X-Jet. So when you get your X-Jet, it comes with a quarter inch nipple here, all right? And then this is male threaded and your M5 twist nozzle twists on like that, all right? So I unscrewed this all right, I put a nipple in that so I could use it up top here or even when I'm downstream and I use this. I made my own M5 twist nozzle out of it. It's got a female thread and it's screwed right on top of that, okay? So when I took that off, I put this uh, coupler here, quarter inch female on both sides. And I screwed it onto a 12 inch um, wand. And then I went ahead and put a quarter inch quick in there. And what this does is it sucks through here and you can get up to close to 50 50 but not quite but what happens is when it was set up like this um, there's a lot of pressure and it gets everywhere it still does um, but this tube kind of slows down that pressure kind of straightens it out and then you just go ahead and connect it and then boom you're in but like I said what I like using about this is that I could put this for downstream too it's just like an extra nozzle I got you know what I mean so basically just get yourself the x-jet you're gonna take off this part all right which is threaded in an air you're gonna get a double female nip coupler female on both sides one end on the end of the x-jet and then put a wand, about 12 inch. People do six inches. I did 12. Um, I figured the longer, the more it straightens out. But you don't want it too ridiculously big. But yeah, that's it, guys. You know, it just helps straighten the stream out, lower the pressure. Boom. You can go ahead and put a J rod on there too. However you guys want to do it. But that's basically the gist of it. And then um, that's it, guys. If you have any questions. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to you, alright? Take care.